Hello gamers, it's me, Lysphila79, I'm back. Um, this video I just wanted to do, um, you know, in, in the midst of the GTA mania, mania um, I just wanted to talk about, um, show some GTA love and show you guys over the years the collection that I've built for GTA. Um, there's only a few games missing. I still got, I think I still have uh, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, and Chinatown that I still need to pick up. Um, I think that's about it as far as it goes, as far as the games go. Now, memorabilia, uh, magazines, uh, guides, and stuff like that, I didn't collect it because I'm starting to progress into that area, but not really. I need more shelf space in order to do that. So in this video, I just wanted to showcase my games that I've picked up over the years and the games that mean the most to me. First game that I wanted to show, of course, is Grand Theft Auto 1 for the uh, PS1. Still haven't had the opportunity to play it. Um, I have seen plenty of videos on it and walkthroughs and stuff like that, and it looks very interesting. Still has the original feel to it, the overhead shot, the music. Kind of the the whole thing that started the GTA fandom, and then of course GTA 2, the green label storyline gets a little bit better, things move a little bit faster, pretty interesting, and then Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, actually, this one that I have is for the PC. And I play this every now and then on my laptop. It's got the actual disc and then the um, the install. Actually, um, it's pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to remember which disc or which controller is compatible to allow you to be able to play on your laptop with the GTA game. I can't even remember. I have to look through my um, look through some old videos of other people and see. But this is probably the one that took. Oh man, I, I know I spent more than 100 hours on this game and still every now and then I go back and play this probably holds the most nostalgia feeling and this wasn't the original cover just to uh, dive back in a little bit of history there because this came out um, shortly after 9-11 and the, the cabs the, the cars everything they had to change it just because it seemed too sensitive and offensive at that time so that's why Whoever has the original copy maybe has a collector's copy that may be priceless or maybe if they're in value. But yeah, this is not even the original copy or the original label because of, like I said, the whole 9-11 thing and it just became too sensitive. They even had to tone down some of the violence, believe it or not. But yeah, this still came out around that time. And then um, I found, uh, one day I found the, uh, it was the, the trilogy, the Grand Theft Auto trilogy with Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and um, also San Andreas. Still need to go back and clean it, and as you can see, it's got a nice little label on there. And of course, it's still got the label on it from when I originally got it, only paid $5 for it, which wasn't bad, because think I see it going for like thirty dollars if I can get this slide and get this label off that'd be great because I got a little five dollar label actually but yeah it consists of all three games in really good condition with the box and the manuals it's three from Vice City and then um, San Andreas actually had fun with which moved me on to one of my favorite games out of the series even more than uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and 2 and 1 is Vice City I love Vice City I love Vice City because of the music um, the whole um, the whole Tommy Bassetti the persona his attitude the Scarface, uh, Miami Vice, because I used to love watching Miami Vice, and I'm just a big fan of the 80s, period. I hated the 90s, but I loved, I loved the 80s. I loved the music, the dressing, 
the the rap and the beatboxing, you know, the the whole graffiti thing and breakdancing rap scene started to really emerge at that time. So 80s to me was very prevalent in my life and very big because I'm actually a 70s baby, but I grew up more in the 80s. And so this one speaks a lot to me and I got this a while back, but I love playing Vice City. This is probably one of my, let's see, probably one of the top three out of the games. And then um, uh, not too long ago, I found the Ultimate Code, uh, the GTA, uh, Vice City Ultimate Code, which basically enhances everything. It gives you like supersonic speed. He's able to break through barriers and all kinds of crazy stuff. But this is an enhancement disc that you put in before you put in the um, PS2 game. You put this disc in. And this allows you to put in all kinds of codes just for fun, you know, just to go through the game and just blast through it for the fun of it. And then San Andreas, I remember when this came out, um, man, just the whole aspect of the game being larger than almost any game out there and selling uh, 20 plus million copies, you know, at that time, it was just unheard of. But much like GTA 5 there was so much drawn into it with even the, the characters and the actors and the music and the game honestly though this is not one of my favorite games I still have yet to beat this game the other games like um, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City I have conquered those games 1 and 2 I haven't because I need to spend more time with that but yeah San Andreas I got to the end and then uh, <laughs> my memory card got erased so I lost their progress over 90 something missions was complete. But yeah, not one of my favorites, but I still go back and play it every now and then. I do have it downloaded on my Xbox uh, 360 and Vice City. I actually have that downloaded on <laughs> on my PS3. Um, man, I can't believe I've bought this game so many times over. Which brings up um, my, my double pack for the Xbox. Um, I have the Grand Theft Auto 3, <coughs> which I go back and play every now and then, and then Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The only complaint that I have with the 360, the, the graphics, of course they do look better, but the, the, um, the controller, I think Grand Theft Auto games would just fit it, and this is just personally my idea about it and my own opinion is that the PS2 controller or PS controller, PlayStation controller, period. It just seems a bit more fit to play these games. Like, it was just designed. And that's, I mean, originally it started out on the PlayStation, like Grand Theft Auto 3 came out way before. I think it, I think almost a year, don't quote me on it, but I think it was almost a year before it actually came out on the original Xbox. The controls are kind of clunky and everything, and it's just... That, that controller is just designed for specific games. And I think with the Grand Theft Auto series, you should just leave it up to PlayStation. Which brings me up to the next game that I have for Grand Theft Auto was Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I actually played this game and beat this game. Originally, uh, I had this, because I know this is a port, I had this on the PSP. I had both the Grand Theft Auto uh, Vice City and Liberty City Story on my PSP which I don't have those now speaking of which I do need to get those so out of the collection I'm missing those the the PSP ports uh, Vice City Stories Liberty City Stories um, the Chinatown for the advance and um, also the regular PS2 uh, Liberty City Stories but of course I do have the more recent GTA 4 for the PS3. I love this game. I love the transition of the graphics. I love the transition of the storyline. I love the storytelling. I love the atmosphere. It was like really seeing Liberty City in 3D. I mean, I know GTA 3 was Liberty City with G uh, 3D graphics, but this was like seeing it 3d slash 4d interface character line and um I, I, nico was definitely an absolute one of my favorite characters uh i definitely enjoyed this game i every now and then i go back i 
I know I beat this game twice, actually three times, because I played it. I made different choices. I did like the moral decisions. That was a different thing. And I'm glad they didn't just stick with that forever in the GTA series. Which brings me to the next game. I, I didn't understand how in the world they did it, but they did it. They managed to make two other games branch off from the same game, which is uh, GTA Episodes from the Liberty City, uh, The Lost in the Dam and The uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony, which are two phenomenal characters, two phenomenal additional games, Not even it's not even DLC, it's games. Um, I definitely enjoyed both, um, had fun playing each character and seeing each character develop into their own person, lead off and do their own thing. I thought that was pretty cool, which brings me to the current. GTA 5. I um, definitely love each character in this game. Trevor with his wild maniac, um, suicidal, off the charts. Michael, the more charismatic but explosive at times, time bomb ticking. Then um, Franklin, the uh, laid back gangster, want to be reformed, live his life, pay his bills, um, <laughs> make a better way for him and his family. And, do better things but I didn't think they could do it I didn't think they could transition these three characters I like the I like the single moment transitional period kind of thing that you can do between each character pick up wherever they are whether they're in the strip club whether they're at home whether they're chasing down somebody or they're being chased by the police I do love the storyline um, I love how they tied all three characters together where it is a lateral game. It's, it's open world, but still lateral because no matter where they go, what they do through in the entire game, they're going to end up together. But yeah, this is definitely up there. I have to say it's, it's tough for me between uh, Vice City, GTA 4, and GTA 5. I love all three of them. Um, it's, I mean, any of them can be in, in any order entirely and I love them the same, you know, and then GTA 3 comes along the line in San Andreas, and once I get a chance to play GTA 1 and 2, I'll definitely find a place for them, but yeah, those are all my games that I have as far as GTA go, and like I said, I have a lot of love for GTA, um, if you don't love the game or you've never played a game, you're missing out, I would say, give it a chance, pick it up, give it a chance, give it a try, uh, trust me, you will definitely enjoy it if you just love mindless violence and an opportunity to just run amok and then also get invested into characters and storylines and just have a good time just to let your mind escape. Definitely pick up the Grand Theft Auto series. Um, other than that, I'm Life Spiller 79. These are my games. This is my GTA love. I'm out.